Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can write faster HTML and CSS code. Now I can understand your frustration that as a beginner or intermediate level of web developer, it's kind of a hard thing. At first it looks, yay, we, don't, we need to learn the syntax about open up the HTML tag, close the HTML tag, open the head tag, close the head tag, and so on and so forth. Now it sometimes becomes a little bit frustrating as you move on into uh, the web development skill because uh, you already know that every tag needs to be closed there and these tags are sometimes time consuming. One of the very classic example is you have a paragraph and you want to fill that paragraph with some filler text. You move on to the lorem ipsum text, you copy that text and paste into your paragraph tag. Yes, it does the job and it's okay, it's completely fine, but it's a little bit less productive. You can be a little bit more efficient in writing web dev code. So in this video, I'll give you one simple productivity hack so that you can write your HTML and CSS code a lot more faster. I see this situation quite a lot. When people jump into learning web development, maybe HTML or CSS, or it's their first time getting interacted with HTML and CSS, at first they think that, hey, we need to learn it hard way. So they type all the tags like HTML, body tag, head tag, paragraph tags, uh, unordered list, ordered list, all of that. Now, I, I don't say that it's bad. It's actually completely right that you write all of these tags manually at first so that you get an idea of how you can uh, debug your application or how all these tags behave but eventually there will be a time, there will be a point that you will realize that, hey, I know these tags, I don't want to just write them again and again, and it's a little bit time consuming. So let's talk about the solution of such problem. Solution of this problem is Emmet. Now Emmet is not a new editor that you have to switch on, or neither it's a new software that you have to install, it's kind of a plugin, and basically it's just a plugin. Now again, you don't have to worry, Emmet is a free plugin that you can install. It's almost similar to kind of a plugin that you install your, in your IDE for additional support of maybe uh, like Babel or maybe some ES6 syntax or just like a simple plugin that you install in your Chrome browser or Firefox browser to do various kinds of things. I hope you don't use Internet Explorer, but if you do use, hey, best of luck for you. And the best part about this Emmet is you don't have to leave your favorite editor. It's available for most of the editors that are around, uh, like Sublime Text, Atom, Bracket, Coda, whatever is your favorite editor. Chances are high that this plugin is already available for you. You just have to download it, install it, and the process are already mentioned at their website. It's super easy. And this is a remarkable plugin. You will enjoy that every single moment. What this plugin actually does, it allows you to have a lot of shortcuts. Now, in case you do remember, in the Sublime Text or ed editors like Atom, uh, there are a couple of shortcuts available to you to just fill up the uh, kind of a boilerplate code for the HTML websites and just like that. This is almost similar but a little bit advanced. It gives you a lot of variety list of shortcuts that you can learn a little bit on the go and can use them in your daily life. Now, I have an amazing resource uh, to get started with the Emmet and can increase your productivity here. I will link down a course in the below sec in the description part. That course is totally free and it's not a big lengthy course like bootcamp. It's just a very small course that you can finish up around. Uh, maybe if you'll spend a couple of hours today and a couple of hours tomorrow, you'll be done. And it's a free course that you can enjoy everybody. And I highly recommend everybody to pick up this course because writing the HTML and CSS part is so much fun with Emmet. You don't have to look around for a lot of MIPSM text. It just fills up a lot of things for you. Amazing shortcut. I can understand. These shortcuts at first are not the easiest one to take around, but I'm pretty sure that eventually uh, with just a couple of times, you will realize that, hey, it's so much fun and I'm going to spend some time to learn that. And of course, how can we forget the best part about the Emmet that it's free, it's simple to install, and I don't have to leave my favorite editor. If I'm a big fan of Sublime Text or Atom, I can just stay there. If I'm a fan of other such editor, I can just stay there. And uh, I really love this Emmet. Now, I know I can understand a lot of intermediate web developer or advanced web developer will say that, hey, uh, I'm much more faster in writing the code manually than installing these crappy plugins. No, no, my dear friend, you are a little bit wrong there. 
All I'm saying you is be a little bit open-minded and just try it out. And if in case it doesn't work for you, anytime you can uninstall it. But I'm pretty sure once you get in the habit of Emmet, it's, it's hard to avoid it any, anytime soon. You'll be sticking around for Emmet and that's my promise to you. And this is kind of a thing that you can realize just by installing the Emmet that uh, your productivity will increase at least uh, 30 to 40 times after with just one single plugin. You'll be writing your HTML and CSS code faster, more efficiently, and web dev is so much fun when you don't have to just close the text every single time or just don't have to bring all these lorem ipsum text just like that. So check out the link in the description below. This is completely and totally a free course. Enjoy that and let me know in the comment section below that what do you think about this Emmet plugin. If you know any such other plugins, I would definitely like to try them out or in fact will try to make a video for them. Catch me up in the comment section and I'll catch you up in the next video.